What's going on everyone? I'm Nerdamas and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. So yeah, I decided that for today's video I wanted to do something slightly different. Um Jesus. Already off to a great start. Um kind of more as like a I'm back again special. Uh because well I have been out of the running as far as recording and uploading videos is concerned. Thanks to my stupid ISP. I mean, I've been having internet troubles for the better part of three, four weeks. And uh, yeah, it's not nice. <laughs> I can't say that much. Um, but yeah, I'm back making videos again. Um, but yeah, so the issues that I've been having with my internet have been uh, primarily <clears throat> issues with extreme instability. Ah, sip of coffee. Oh, don't uh, push the right turn signal because I need to go... Uh, left turn signal because I need to go right. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, so... The um, yeah, I don't remember what I was gonna say, but um, yeah. So I'm playing ETS2 on the latest update, and this is not a base game uh, place because this is a map mod called uh, Pro Mod. I mean, ninety percent of ETS2 players probably already are familiar with pro mods and uh, yeah I'm starting out from Pula which is a place that I've actually been to IRL and it's in my opinion a really nice place uh, I certainly love it uh, but yeah so and uh, yeah so basically gonna go ahead and just explore, drive for a bit, have a good time, enjoy making a video, and uh, hopefully also enjoy watching the video. And as of this video, a exciting new change has been made to the Nerdomus YouTube channel. And that change is that I actually requested the help of my good friend Marcel you might know him as MCL40,000 in the comments section and he will be helping me with editing the videos from now on so um, what that basically means is that I can have a lot more time to spend on recording the videos making um, well not necessarily just making videos because editing as part of making the videos which that's something that Marcel will be doing from now on um, but yeah it just means that I have more time to focus on actually recording and doing any of the prep work or stuff where, uh, where I need to do things in between episodes uh, which is more often the case with uh, a game like Minecraft where you just have to do a lot of work in between videos and it'll allow me to do that a lot more easily than if I would have to edit the videos myself as well as record them so big massive thank you to Marcel for that just show him some love in the comment section please uh, but yeah that's just amazing at least to me it is yeah so we talked about some stuff already in uh, discord me and Marcel and uh, yeah he already got some nice equalizer set up for my voice which that's probably gonna add some uh, some better viewer experience for you guys 
Um, but don't worry, I'll still be replying to comments and whatnot myself. I'll still be uh, making the thumbnails. I'll still be uh, doing the like video title and whatnot. So that's not gonna change. The only thing that's changing is the editing that's being done by Marcel and then also uploading the video is done by Marcel. Um, but that's besides the point. I'm just really, really grateful for his help. And uh, yeah, that's awesome. And again, just show lots of love for Marcel in the comment section, please. He's an amazing dude and a good friend. And I mean, he's been following the channel and commenting and everything for quite a while. So thanks for that as well, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's, I'm just glad to be back making videos um, and uh, talking to you guys, I guess. Which, I mean, it's not directly to you guys, uh, but I really should stop saying but <laughs> or uh, man, anyways. Um, yeah, it's not like not live talking to you guys or not physically talking to you guys, but we can have a conversation in the comment section down below. And I'm thinking that maybe for next week, I might do a Q&A video on Euro Truck Sim. Yikes, that was a big oof. I always underestimate this little part because this was already in a uh, previous version of Pro Mods, but like, yeah, it's part you really need to slow down quite a lot. Anyways, what was I talking about again? Uh, I can't recall. Goldfish memory, am I right? Take a sip of coffee. Um, yeah, I just uh, I just made dinner. Don't know why you'd be interested in that, but I did. It was pretty good if I do say so myself, because well, I mean, I was the one who cooked it, so you know, it has to be good if I'm cooking for myself. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. I'm really rambling a lot. Uh, hmm? Yeah, Ramble McGee here, hey? Alright. Take this off from. So, uh, yeah, I was talking about how I want to reserve. Uh, or not reserve, but how I want to do a Q&A on your truck sim next week. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll answer them in my next Euro truck sim vid, which probably will be next week from when you're seeing this video. Uh, will be recorded before then, obviously. That's just the way things go with uh, content creation. You can't really... Um, record a video live. Unless you, it's like a live stream. But then it's not a recorded video, it's a live stream. Am I making any sense? I don't think I am. Yeah... Oh, and um, sorry for driving at night, because I know driving at night in Euro Truck Sim isn't all that uh, good for content, because, well, it's dark, and YouTube plus dark, generally speaking, isn't a good combination, but that's just the way it's got to be, because it's the only way I was able to get a um, to get a yeah let me go here 
because I have one of those, well, because of the auto toll thingies there, the telepaths. Um, come on, bus. I was. Mm -mm. And road rage. <laughs> Almost. Not quite. Oh, don't you dare turn into me, other truck. Okay, yeah. But I know that um, darkness and YouTube is a bad combination, but this was the only job that I could get in ETS 2. So I had to take a nighttime drive. And looks like we can actually bypass this issue. Awesome. That's at least good news because otherwise we would have been stuck. <laughs> uh, while we are here, do I need fuel? I'm about halfway on fuel. Just to be sure, I'll um, I'll refuel my truck. So we are finally past this accident, I guess it is. Uh, did I just seriously clip the barrier barely and that gave me 1% damage? Though, while I, or when I ran into the wall, that didn't. Game, you don't make any sense. Anyways. It's all good, because we're driving on some nice looking, well, as much as you can make out with the darkness of, well, it's starting to get morning in game right now, so that's good. But yeah, as much as you can make out in the darkness, it's still a pretty nice and scenic route, or route, depending on which side of the pond you're on. Or just depending on your preferred um, your preferred pronunciation. Jesus, why was it so hard to think of the word pronunciation? It's been a long week. I'll use that as an, as an excuse because, quite frankly, it's been a damn long week for me. I've done, well, I've been working quite a lot, or not so much quite a lot, it's just I've been working full time as I normally do. However, it's just that it's very exhausting mentally speaking um, like I have had several days where I've just been so tired that I immediately had to take a nap after work so I guess that's a thing not a good thing but it's a thing oh and you know what? One other thing that I'm uh, that just came to mind, and that's also a bonus more for you guys about having a new uh, editor in the way of Marcel, is that now there's a lower chance of me not catching an editing fail, like when I accidentally leaved in, or left in, leaved in, Jesus, and when I accidentally left in, uh, blowing my nose and I had to edit it out from the YouTube Creator Studio, which I hope that change was saved, if not it's going to be cemented in history as an edit fill, oh well, could be worse, I mean there's much much worse things in life than that. Uh, which I still haven't set up a mute button for my mic for when I do need to blow my nose or whatnot, so that's not smart. I'm not smart. If anyone 
any if anyone ever tries to tell you otherwise, don't believe him. Uh, fuck's sake. Alright, so let me check how long we still have to go on this drive. Awesome sauce, that's done. So I can go back into the game and back into the driving. Don't know why I'm saying the so much, but it's a thing, deal with it. Ah, sunrise. A time of day I, generally speaking, don't see unless I have to work. I tend to be someone who sleeps until pretty late in the day. Like, during a weekend, never expect me to be up before noon. That's how bad it is. But hey. That's also why I stay up really late. That and the fact that Insomnia is a pain in the ease. A right big pain in the ease. I've been watching a lot of Skin Arby streams. Is it noticeable that some of his mannerisms are rubbing off on me? Is it? Well, I mean. Some of you might not even know who he is, or that he streams, or might never have seen his streams, but for those of you who do know Skin Arbian, who have seen his streams, is it noticeable that some stuff is rubbing off on me? I mean, I ain't complaining, because he's at least a lot more entertaining than I am. I mean, don't even know why anyone would watch my videos, except now, because now I'll I actually have a good editor editing the videos, or at least much better than myself. Alright, there's a stop and break. And is there, yes there is a telepass thing, gate, toll gate. I mean, I really should know things like that because I used to work for a company who makes those toll boxes. Then again, they didn't have to drive through any toll gates with them, so... Hmm. Weird. Anyways. Almost smashed into that guy. Bloody hell. Well, my coffee is done, so switch to water now. Ah, delicious water. This is a lot of highway driving. Let's check my fuel usage. Okay, 3.7 kilometers per liter on average, or, well, at the moment. On average is about 2.6 kilometers per liter, uh, which just... Uh, yeah, kilometers per liter is like what I use myself uh, with regards to my car as far as fuel consumption and it's more directly uh, more directly conversable 
to miles per gallon for you Americans or British. I think British also still use miles per gallon, but I could be wrong. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Nothing else matters. Yeah, yeah. Discount James Hatfield impersonation. Uh, I'm such a moron. And I feel sorry for Marcel who has to edit this video. Because he has to deal with me. And I'm very unapologetically me. Which is an idiot. <laughs> oh well. Still there's worse things in life. Like Coffee Boy or Beer Virus. Give it, you know, whichever nickname you want to because YouTube's gonna suppress the video if you even mention its name, both its scientific name and like the common name for it. But yeah. I'll stick with beer virus because I like beer. I also don't get myself sometimes, but it's fine. Absolutely fine. Nobody's gonna notice. Just having a good time playing a good game. I mean, normally when I'm live streaming ETS2, I'd uh, I'd play some music in background, which, I mean, for all I know, Marcel's gonna put music in background of this video. Who knows? It's all unknown and new to me, and I actually kind of like it. You now, there's a certain element of surprise because I'm basically giving him as much creative freedom as he needs to make it good it's like as long as it's good like video quality I've got that down with OBS thanks to one of my other buddies who gave me a lot of tips Kenzo uh, yeah. but you know video quality good my quality is gonna be even better now thanks to Marcel's equalizer um, and the editing will be at the bare minimum 10 times better than when I edit so that's even bigger bonus I still have some things that I need to do after this video is done with recording uh, mostly to do with like assets that he needs for editing the videos and um, yeah as you may have noticed if you've been following my channel for a long time like Marcel has been I know it seems like I can't stop talking about him with this video, but uh, I guess my way of showing appreciation for it, like, uh, anyways, but yeah, if you've been following my channel for a long time, you might know that uh, I used to have an intro. But I had to reset my PC and I didn't back it up into my Google Drive so that's all gone so I'm gonna have to pay someone to make me a new intro and I mean to be fair the intro song that the previous guy made or used uh, to make my intro it's not bad but it's not what I would have chosen and 
I mean, I guess it's my fault for giving him creative, uh, full creative freedom with it. But I know that if I'm gonna get a new intro made, it's gonna be with music that I choose. And of course it has to be royalty free music because YouTube is a pain in the ass. Or Creative Commons music, one of those two. Because YouTube is a pain in the ass when it comes to fair use. Which, I mean, an intro is transformative and it's only a small part of the video. So it should fall under fair use, so I should be allowed to use a Metallica song for all I care. But it's not, because it's YouTube. And YouTube likes being a dick. Granted, I'm also good at being a dick sometimes. But still, YouTube is a bigger dick. Uh, this is a border crossing, this is gonna take a while. Because we have a couple of trucks ahead of us that also need to get through. Ah. Stop. Unterhaltfahrt. God damn. This is a Dutch, like, truck, I guess, or trailer. Or trailer from a Dutch company ahead of me. I only just noticed. Ah, that's interesting. And it's red onion and a yellow onion in a yin yang position. I've never seen a trailer with this branding, but hey, it's very possible that it's. Well, I mean, it's definitely real because I have several mods installed. Like the ProMods uh, trailer and company package, which just puts in real trailers and companies. As well as Jazzy Cat's trailer mods, which also puts in real trailers. And some uh, more interesting cargoes to, uh, to haul. And of course this truck itself is a mod and it's... Please drive on the right side of the road. Yeah, I already am. So... Serbia. Cool. We're in a new country. We went from Croatia into Serbia. That's neat, I guess, but... They still drive on the correct side of the road, to the right side. As far as I know, in Europe, the only two countries that drive on the wrong side of the road are uh, the UK and Ireland. And one of those two is out of the European Union. Good riddance, I say. Let's not get into politics, shall we? Let's keep this kind of nice-ish. Nice as in, let's not alienate any potential viewers. I mean, I guess you're always gonna, but still, better to be safe than sorry. That was a quick border check. Wow. Guess because they already had checked our papers and whatnot at the previous border checkpoint. The one that was still in Croatia. However, wait, we get to drive 10 kilometers an hour faster. Noise. And um, according to one of my American trucker friends, our truck speed limits are really damn slow. Which she seems to be kind of correct. Comparison to them, obviously. Uh, but they're wrong, and we're right, because we are European. Yeah, that's my entire reasoning for it. No, but yeah, if you compare it, it is 
quite a big difference. So they get 70 miles an hour, which is about 110 kilometers an hour. I, just a rough guesstimate. 110, 115. And uh, also depending on the state, obviously. We only get 90, 80 to 90 kilometers an hour, depending on the country. And yeah, that's 55 miles an hour ish. And I'm overtaking a damn van in a truck. A box van, but still. Ah. And it's pulling away because it has a higher maximum speed, or speed limit, also known as. Let me retry this sentence. Ah, uh, no, doesn't matter. Isn't even relevant. <laughs> uh, I'm a moron. But hey, at least I'm myself. Not to say that other people aren't themselves, but you can. What I mean, right? And I guess, I guess my driver needs a bit of a snoozy poo. go for a little bit of a nap. And it's only 8 for me and it's already getting dark outside. Where did... Where did the summer go, right? Just... Summertime is nice because you notice that the days are getting longer and longer and now Basically, autumn already, uh, or fall. I kind of prefer fall because I don't know America. <laughs> but yeah, it's almost fall now, and just days are getting shorter. Weather is becoming increasingly more depressing. Uh, rainy rainy or just a whole lot of blah, a lot of me not like it. <laughs> but hey ho it's life it's just seasons it's just what happens we need to go through these seasons in order for our world to function. So, that's a thing. somewhat straight so I can drive single-handedly. Oh, don't move my camera around you, Pillock. I mean, I'm a Pillock, but still. Cruise control. Keeping kind of straight. I'm ordering my other hand. Almost like a real truck driver would. Be. 
almost. And let's go through this one. For the toll gates because automatically opens and means that I don't have to stop. Which also is more fuel efficient and blah blah blah. Yes, I'm trying to somewhat play it with, or play it somewhat realistically. Even though I know it's just a game, or a simulator game, but it's still just a game and blah blah blah. There's a bus ahead of me. Buses are the worst. And yeah, I know I cut off that guy behind me, but I didn't want to be stuck behind this bus. So, that's. That makes it all right to. Uh, Overtake that bus and cut him off. Yes, that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Ah. Evening sun. Now, see, that's a sight that I do see quite a lot. <laughs> the evening sun. Oh. Yeah, actually, I do. I mean, even though I'm in between, like, several buildings with my apartment still do get to see it so yeah this is a familiar sight the evening sun morning sun uh, not so much i'm not a morning person in the slightest otherwise i would be recording this in the morning instead of the evening but yeah rambling one thing i'm really good at is rambling about nothing and anything I mean, personally, I'd also say driving because I'm I'm a pretty decent driver. I wouldn't say I'm good or great. Not well. I wouldn't say I'm great. Just period, but kind of good, you know, say, well, I mean, if I look at the parking of other people, I'd say my driving skill is above average. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm good. I managed to keep my car under control. I can park pretty well, at least make sure that other people still have a space to park ever next to me or before me or behind me, depending on what kind of parking uh, you're talking about. Like parallel parking, I'm good enough at so that I can fit in a parking spot size gap. But when you have two knobs to park just really close to each other but there's almost a parking spot size left that's just mm, annoying because like I can in most cases I can fit my car in the spot but then I can't get it out because that's how tight it can be sometimes with knobheads and like people who take up two parking spots when they're side by side at a parking uh, uh, yeah just a parking spot I guess <laughs> yeah. yeah like at the store a car park jeez it took me that long to think of car park it's been a long week okay uh, anyways yeah um so 
like at a car park, don't be a dick and don't double park. Like, leave space for other people to park as well. Just don't be a knob, it's not that difficult. If I can do it, you can do it. And trust me, it is tempting sometimes to just be a complete another knob. But at least try not to be. And I mean, we all know that 90% of knobs on the road are BMW drivers. Or Mercedes drivers. Or Audi drivers. Like those three are, on average, generalizing the biggest knobs on the road, but they're still like, anyone can be a knob. Just anyone. So, don't be a knob, drive like a normal being. Oh my god, that's... complete dead stop to not crash into that guy. What's a speed limit of 30? And that's slow. Too slow. Oh well, it's my own fault. I was speeding, so... Shit happens. And I didn't even pay attention to what the fine boss that the game gave me. I just want to continue my trip. Come on. Jeez, you took your damn time checking my documents. that hungry I just ate dinner <sighs> I know that was an awful pun but sometimes you just have to you know. I apologize but just had to couldn't resist to drive towards Macedonia, if I remember correctly. Uh, Balti and Macedonia, yeah. Also, let's check the map to see how long we still have. Uh, please don't die on the game. Uh, we're missing it. About halfway. Alright. That's doable. About halfway and 48 minutes in. It's gonna be a long one. A very long one. Oh well. Might actually just stop at the kind of halfway mark and uh, save the rest of this drive for another video. Might be a good idea. Hmm. We're thinking about. very industrial <laughs> I mean I do kind of like this look though those houses are pretty cool 
I'd like to have apartment buildings look super industrial. You know, what would you expect? It's Hungary. Uh, but, you know, I think this might even be part of the, uh, one of the new expansions that came to the game. No, I don't think it was. No, Road of Black Sea wasn't Hungary. It was some other countries. Romania, Bulgaria, and something else. Part of Turkey, I believe, even? Like the European part of it? Could be wrong. Road to the Black Sea was something like that. Didn't include Hungary. If I remember correctly. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me, obviously, in the comment section, but I think that's correct. Anyways, it's been, uh, I mean, at this point, like, I've got my vanilla profile, or vanilla, as far as, like, map, uh, vanilla map profile, and then I've got my pro mods profile. And generally speaking, I prefer pro mods because, well, it's more interesting, more to do, larger map, more, uh, more detailed map, in my opinion. So, compared to more new expansions, the newer expansions are a lot more detailed than they used to be, so that's good. And we're heading into Romania now, and I was definitely speeding there, good that no cops saw it. But let's see. Oh, there's a guy that's pulling off. I actually never saw something like that. Is that new with the latest update where parked trucks will drive off? Because I never saw that before but yeah I will just park it here call it a day and uh, yeah we'll continue with this video next time because we are at roughly the halfway mark of this trip and it's a long trip really long trip so uh, yeah we went from here to here about halfway there's still the other half to go so that's for next time but yeah i hope that you all enjoyed this video i know that i did um if you did enjoy the video make sure to slap like on it subscribe to the channel if you're new let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of it also in the comment section give your love to marcel and uh yeah that's been it for me uh, from me have a great rest of your day and see you all in the next video. Take care and ciao for now.